welcome to The Good, The Bad, and The Tarot, and thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I want to say a big thank you to all of my old subscribers that have continued to support me, and if you are a new subscriber or coming back, uh, welcome. It's great to have you. For your reading today, I am going to be using the Thoth Tarot Large Deck, which is not read with reversals as per the uh, tradition of Aleister Crowley and the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. This deck is not read with reversals, so I will not be reading reversals today. For your oracle message, I will be pulling one card from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. And as always, these are general readings that will not resonate with everyone. I always recommend getting a private reading for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome. Also, if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so. Uh, drop up in the description below this video. There will be a link there. Uh, that will take you to my scheduling page and you can book a reading. I am offering gift certificates as well for those of you who are interested in getting a gift certificate for a friend or family or for a present. Um, that is under uh, my private readings, new products and services. Also I have a new reading that I'm offering. It is the um, year, uh, your year ahead forecast for 2017. Uh, you'll see that under private readings, it is a 50-minute reading. I am offering it for, I believe, $45. So it's a great deal, and it's a very extensive reading. We'll cover each month in the year going forward and your overall outcome and challenge for the year. So um, I'd love to see more people sign up for that. But uh, you might have noticed also that I did not put out a love forecast for December, but I did put out a general reading. Those are available on my Patreon page. Um, thank you so much for those of you who have stuck by me while I just take a, uh, I guess you could say, a spiritual retreat or break uh, in December. I had gone away for Thanksgiving, and when I came back, I was extremely drained and needed to take some time off for myself. So. Thank you so much for bearing with me, and I am back to do your January readings. I also wanted to say that I do moderate my channel for negative comments. This is a safe place, and I hope to see um, all of your comments on here, but I will be removing anyone that leaves um, negative comments that are just not helpful and don't provide any really good critiques or support. So, um, Also, if you see my videos on YouTube being... Uh, rebroadcasted by any other person other than the good, the bad, and the tarot, please report them to me so that I can have them uh, fill out a DMCA and have them taken down. Yes, that has happened in the past. So anyway, let's get going with your reading. Thank you so much for listening. Hi Sagittarius, this is your love reading for January 2017. Um, this is for all of my Sagittarius suns, moons, and risings out there and those on the cusp. I'm asking Spirit what will be so for Sagittarius, what are the messages and energies regarding their love lives. All my Sagittarius is out there, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And if you don't resonate with your Sun sign, check your Moon and or Rising sign. So for Sagittarius, what do they need to know regarding their love lives? What are the messages and energies, Spirit? Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising. to sneeze there. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, we have your 10 cards down for the Celtic Cross. Let's take a look at your cards. I'll pull the camera back a little bit so you can see. Five of Cups crossed by the Queen of Discs. What, com what comes below you is the Five of Wands. What comes above you is the Four of Wands. In your recent past, you have the Universe. In your near future, you have the Ace of Swords. In the position of how you see yourself, you have the Ace of Discs. 
In your environment, this is how your significant other or the person you think about the most may be viewing you or dealing with you. They have the star. In your hopes and fears, you have the princess of discs. And in your outcome position for the month of January, you have the six of cups. Okay. All right, I think I get the gist of what's going on here. So. I am seeing that in your present situation, this is the energy that you walk into January with. You do have the Five of Cups, which can indicate uh, a disappointment in your love life. Now, it could be that some of you are still grieving the loss of a loved one or are dwelling more on something um, of an emotional nature. Um, but in your challenge position, we do have the Queen of Discs here. Now this can represent a female energy uh, because we are dealing with the water energy or the feminine energy of the suit of discs. And she is the Queen of Discs. So she in this deck is the highest of the discs uh, of the material world. So this could be a female in your challenge position. It can also represent some aspect of your personality. Now typically um, the Queen of Discs is someone who is very caring, very nurturing. She is a good provider. She could be uh, the quintessential girlfriend, the person that um, takes care of the home and the family and is good with finances. Typically the Queen of Discs is someone that cares more about maybe her business or money or the material world than uh, perhaps love per se. She's not that emotional but um, at the same time she is an uh, she's a very she can be very caring and very nurturing. So um, she is in the challenge position so she is what's helping or hindering you. This could be someone um, that you are dealing with. This could be someone that you are mourning the loss of or grieving over Sagittarius. Again, we are talking about possibly an earth sign, female, so Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It could be a male, but I am getting female energy here. And um, there is a lot of water energy in this cross, so we are dealing with emotional issues here. And um, possibly something, some kind of financial issue as well. It could be with a business. It could be with someone that um, is a good business person, is someone that has their life together, is someone that is very organized. But um, in general, the Queen of Justice is a very loving energy, a very protective and nurturing energy. She can stand for someone's mother. I've seen that happen before. And again, because this is a general reading, um, it would be hard for me to be too much more specific than that. Um, I would just say keep an open mind. Uh, but I do feel like the energy that you walk into January with is one of some kind of loss of an emotional nature. Something that has disappointed you. Someone that has disappointed you, possibly. Again, it could be this Queen of Discs, this female here. Um, I'm going to skip to the recent past because you have a very nice card. You have the universe and this is what is leaving, the energy that is leaving right now. So um, this is something that you're letting go of. And the universe represents completion of some cycle in your life. It is a huge victory. It can represent an ending as well. But it definitely, um, you know, going to January, we are welcoming in a new year. So we are saying goodbye to the old and welcoming in the new. This would represent also, it can represent a birthday. It can represent a graduation. Um, really anything, even retirement, even going into a new phase in your life. It just says that an, an old cycle has ended and a new cycle has begun. Um, so for some of you... Um, you, this is the last card in the Major Arcana, so so for some of you, um, you learned a major life lesson and you were ready to move on and maybe that there is some energy here, some residual energy of just grieving over a letting go of something. There is still a mourning period or maybe 
you had everything at one point and you are still clinging to a past success because this is a huge victory for you. This is a huge success. This is something that would have, you definitely would have noticed, you definitely would have been proud of. This is a great feeling of accomplishment and, and victory. So, um, going from the last card in the Major Arcana to the Five of Cups is a huge leap here. And so I'm kind of wondering, I have to kind of look at the cards surrounding to see what could be the cause of that. And in the, in the root position, you actually, in the foundation position, you have the Five of Wands, which talks about strife. So this is uh, some kind of competition, some kind of feeling that maybe you are competing with another person. It could be that you feel like you're competing with a lot of other people. It could sort of be just a feeling of having to grovel for your position or fight or dealing with petty hassles and struggles here. This is a card of conflict as well, being that it's a five, and you have two fives here. So I definitely feel like you walk into January with some conflicting energies, some um, strife and disappointments possibly. Uh, there is a feeling of having to fight for something or having to struggle against. Um, this is all about a clashing of opinion as well. It's that, uh, it's the feeling that uh, your voice is um, competing against all of these other voices here. And you may feel like you have to prove yourself. You may feel like you have to um, struggle in order to get things to move in your favor. Um, it may be that you uh, have been competing for someone's love and affection. This particular person could be the Queen of Discs and um, it could have just led to some kind of disappointment for you. Now, in the position of what you know to be true, this is what you may be thinking or feeling, but uh, what you haven't manifested yet. But if you continue down this road, you very well could manifest this. You do have the Four of Wands, which is another card of completion. And I really, um, I think of this in the position of like what you'd kind of like to make your own. Uh, this is really where your head's at. And again, I feel like something has completed for you. A cycle has ended. Um, this is also a lot of gratitude and uh, feeling satisfied with your home environment. So you may be thinking a lot about your foundations at this point. Um, you may be thinking a lot about um, your home or going home or a place where you feel welcomed, a place where you feel safe. Um, there is gratitude here and um, happiness for what one has. It's a very different energy than the Five of Wands, but again, we are still dealing with the fire energy here. So I'd say you have a lot of water energy when you walk into the month of January, but you're saddled by this fire energy. It's sort of what motivates you. It's what is driving you forward. Um, <clears throat> with your goal sort of being towards setting up a happy home or foundation, possibly even marriage of some could be marriage, it could be uh, a stable home or family situation. So going one to two weeks into the future, so we're looking at the middle of January, what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius, is um, you may have a new infatuation or you may have someone that you have a crush on. Again, the Ace of Swords to me represents a new direction mentally. But it can also be uh, a sword that has a double-edged sword. So the pros of a sword are that it talks about honesty and clarity and truth. Um, but it can also say that you are willing to let go of anything that stands in your way, uh, aka anything that represents BS to you. Anything that isn't the truth. Um, but I feel like this, this this is a great card of communication. Again, it's just the beginning of the Ace. It's just the beginning of the Suit of Swords. So there is some kind of new beginning here. Again, this could be a new infatuation, someone that you just um, 
strike up a conversation with and you feel like there's a connection there. Uh, but I, I feel like this is a very positive card. And, um, you know, you, you are going to speak your mind. You are going to be honest this time. I feel like you have this freedom of, freedom of speech. I don't think you're really going to put up any walls or barriers here when it comes to speaking the truth. And even in the position of how you see yourself, you have this new beginning with the Ace of Discs. Um, so I feel like you have a, a new start here in the middle of January. It's almost like you're very grounded. Um, you see your path ahead very clearly. Um, this could be a new love interest uh, or a feeling that you have potential with someone here. Because I do see a lot of potential, um, especially with like mental and earthly issues. So you could even be picking up a new job or you could be focusing on a new project. But uh, in terms of your love life, I feel like more than anything, the potential here is to move in a new direction and maybe it could be that you are um, interested in someone new that you see potential with someone new. Beautiful card in your environment, you have the sun. And the sun is all about happiness, clarity, the inner child. And this is how your partner or significant other or person you think about the most may be viewing you or dealing with you. So they have very positive thoughts about you. They actually see you as the center of their universe and as someone that can bring a lot of life, happiness, and positivity to them. So that is an extremely good card to have. Um, also, some of you may be in a very sunny location, uh, so they may see you outside a lot, or they may see that you are enjoying life and are feeling very happy. The sun can also represent a child, so they may um, have children themselves or be someone that is kind of childlike and has a childlike enthusiasm about them. In your hopes and fears, you have again this earth sign, the princess of discs. She is the, uh, I believe, the watery energy of the suit here. Um, she could also represent the earth energy, the earth energy of the suit of discs. So this could also be the same person that we're talking about in the challenge position of Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn female. This is someone who is very connected, connected to source. Uh, she's kind of like the more bohemian kind of um, type of personality. Now, as a hope or fear, it could really be either, depending on your relationship with uh, this person. Um, she certainly is very focused. She's someone that uh, may be just starting out in life. Um, probably someone in their 20s or 30s, but not much older. Probably late 20s. And, uh, of course, she is the daughter of the Queen of Discs, so she is like a younger soul. She has a younger soul. But in your hopes and fears... Again, this could indicate a hope for a new beginning, hope for um, uh, an investment to pay off, but uh, she's very connected to this disc, and the disc represents the yin and yang. So she's very connected to things that bring her into harmony with nature, that bring her balance and joy. So I feel like um, that's very nice to have in this position. But again, it can represent either a hope or a fear, depending on your situation. Um, I'm seeing a literal person here because of the, uh, that this is the princess of discs. So it could be that you're dealing with an earth sign this month. And your outcome card is the six of cups, pleasure. So enjoyment of life. Uh, I think this is a great card for love relationships because it speaks to simple, innocent things that we can take part of. Um, 
this can indicate someone from your past coming back. But uh, overall, this is a beautiful card for you, Sagittarius. It does indicate um, a very uh, satisfying and easy to accomplish everyday kind of love. So it could be that you are finding pleasure in your love life. And with someone that can do that for you on a daily basis, with someone that understands and gets you on that level, Again, it's a very innocent kind of love. It's something that would kind of be, I, I kind of get like a childlike innocence about it and um, even a flirtatious quality. So um, I like to see that in your outcome position. It seems that whatever disappointments you have at the beginning of the month are um, quickly replaced by either a new crush, a new infatuation, or just um, you changing your focus, deciding to focus on something more positive. And um, that's also reflected in your environment as well. So I'd like to pull an oracle message. What does Sagittarius need to know? Please help guide them on their highest spiritual path in love and in life. wants to flip over. I'll take it. And of course you have the one or the strengthening bonds which resonates with the ace of discs here. And um, this is a beautiful card for you Sagittarius. A lot of earth energy in your reading um, which is you may not typically think of that as a romantic feeling, but it really is. I think discs can be very romantic because they talk about connection and sensuality and even our bodies and physical pleasure. Um, so let me just pull up the card here. I'm just going to read a little bit from the book. If I can find it. Okay. Keywords are stability, reality, grounded, health. The potential exists now to bring greater stability to your relationships, Sagittarius. Be realistic about what you can expect from others and what you can offer in return. Be consistent and clear in your actions and demand the same. By taking a down-to-earth approach, your expectations of other people are more likely to be met, and relationships will be strengthened. Scattered emotional energy will not serve you. Be sure to ground yourself. Steady and calm energy will translate into secure and strong relationships. To ground yourself, take a walk in nature and connect with the energy of the trees and Mother Earth herself. Enjoy greater health by exercising and eating well. A healthy body will help you feel confident about yourself and your abilities. This self-assured energy will enable you to improve current relationships and attract new ones as well. And I definitely see that happening for you. It is a progression and there is a lot of earth energy here to help you ground yourself. It is through that grounding by walking in nature, like they say, by walking in nature, by enjoying healthy foods, by being realistic about relationships that you're able to pull in those um, strong bonds and to create those relationships that are really meaningful and that like with your outcome card, the Six of Cups, pleasure, bring you the most pleasure that really help you enjoy being yourself in your body on this earth on a day-to-day -day basis. So fantastic reading for you Sagittarius, I couldn't be happier for you. Um, I think that you overcome a lot, especially going towards the middle of January. So please let me know if you resonate, and uh, I look forward to reading for you soon. Take care.